Sharp 43 inch Aquarius. Uh, uh, model LC43 Charlie Foxtrot Foxtrot 5 double treble 1 kilo. That's LC43 CFF 5 treble 1 K. Uh, symptom seems to be you, know, you power it up, you get the sharp logo, and then it just powers off and goes back to a blank screen. I'm removing the back, just this panel. Uh, it's held on with a few screws and a couple of clips. Um, it's quite easy to unclip once you've removed the screws. Uh, the fault seems to be on this main control board. This is the main control board. I believe this part here is the LED driver circuit and the rest is the power supply from the mains input which is presumably controlling the main motherboard down the bottom the fault that we found uh, was this capacitor here which is a 33 microfarad 200 volt and signed shows of swelling which I'll show you that now this is the components I've changed it's 200 volt 33 microfarads I couldn't actually get the same physical body size, so it's a little bit larger, but this component, as you can see on the circuit board, it lays flat anyway in the orientation it is now. And I don't know if you can, if it's evident, but you can see the original component, the bulging on the top of the component, and the casing material had split here, so I presume it must have got hot. I presume this is just a shrink sleeve with the right. Oh, just measuring the uh, capacitors that I brought. Um, this is one of the new 200 volt 33 microfarads, and this is the one that had gone. So, as you can see by the result, there we're roughly reading about 30 microfarads. So, we'll just do a quick comparison. Let's move the leads across. Okay, so, we'll just move the leads across, and it's not even reading as a capacitor, so it's definitely faulty. The other things we did, just to um, make sure everything was okay, some of the smaller value capacitors, I've changed those, they're regularly, uh, generally a, a fault, but when I tested, I changed this one, this one, this one, and this one, but when I removed them and tested the original component, they did test okay, but as I'd taken the components out, I changed them anyway. Uh, all the diodes on the bridge rectifier part of the circuit we checked the diodes over here on the inverter part type, type of the circuit I've checked those are all okay the only two capacitors I've never changed is these two uh, which they're 100 volt 47 microfarad which I haven't got any so I've taken the gamble of just changing this component and it seems to be okay I did take one of these out and test it and it did test okay but, yeah, so generally if you've got the same fault where the screen just turns off after showing the sharp logo, um, it was this capacitor here that was at fault. Well, I hope that's helpful to you. Um, it's very simple to dismantle. Um, obviously, normal warnings, keep your fingers out of things. Um, there is mains potential across these parts of the circuit here. And it is quite labelled hot and cold, so you know which parts of the circuit are. Um, but generally it's quite easy to get into and open up. Uh, it's only a series of screws and the back just clips off. I'll just show the TV working now. So if we press the down buy button. We now get the sharp logo well into the main menu, which all seems to be working. I've got nothing plugged into it, but press the source button and show you what source we've got. And the menu button would bring up which menu we want to select. So, yeah, it seems to be all working there. So, uh, get rid of that. Try the volume, and the volume's working fine as well. So, yeah, um, that seems to be a success. So, uh, if you've got one of these sharp Aquarius, I believe it is, this is the 43 inch. Um, I'll put the model number underneath. Um, the fault seemed to be just the 33 microfarads cap.